Hello Makers and welcome back to Spectiva Studios. It's good to have you here. Now today I want to deal with something that is a constant challenge for anybody who's using acrylic paints, especially on canvas, and that is how do I keep my lines as clean as possible? And I have set up a panel here, it's just a simple 8 inch by 8 inch canvas, and I put some masking tape as you can see on here. And what I'm thinking I want to be able to do is just uh, paint some black lines. I'm going to do some black uh, and white lines that are going to be the final result, maybe a background for another project that I'm working on. So I'm going to come in here and uh, I've got some basic black. Let's uh, let's do what we want with this. And I'm going to come in here and again, let's just uh, let's lay down some black. There we go. There's going to be a little bit of black in there. Let's make sure we get that in. And I'm going to put some black over here on this line as well. Let's get that in there. Make sure we get full coverage. And then we're going to bring it up there as well. Now what I'm really trying to do here is actually have a failure. And uh, in most cases I'm going to be successful in having a failure because what I'm trying to do while it looks good in theory is going to run into some problems when, uh, when I start to take off my masking tape. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I've just laid down some black color here obviously. And if I come in here and I take up my masking tape, let's see how we do here, and I pull it up. It's not tragic. I've, I, I've, I've experienced more tragic, but I want you to notice that on either side where the masking tape is, I've got some bleed. You can see some bleed there. There's bleed all along in here. Let me zoom in so you can get a, a better view of what we're talking about there. There is some definite bleed happening and this is the problem I'm running into. I want a nice clean line and I'm not getting a nice clean line. I'm actually getting a line where I'm getting some bleed underneath my tape. So I'm stymied. I'm unhappy. I ruined my project again and I don't want to do that. So what is my option here? What can I do to make this happen? Well, we're going to employ one of, uh, one of my favorite tools here and that is we're going to use some liquid medium. Now liquid medium, as I've talked about in past videos, is a pigment free acrylic paint. This one is a, a, an ultra matte medium, just means it's finished, it's going to be very matte as opposed to glossy. And what I'd like to do instead of putting the, uh, the black on here, is I'm going to lay down a coat of this puppy first, so that I don't run into a uh, similar situation. And I don't need too, too much. And again, it's always a good idea if you haven't used uh, your materials to give it a good shake before you get in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some liquid medium on here. Now again, this is a transparent paint for all intents and purposes, but what I want to be able to do instead of layering it with black, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put down this transparent paint first. And the reason I'm putting this down is I want it to get into the nooks and crannies that are underneath my masking tape. Right? No one's going to be able to see that part because if we take this off it's going to be clear on white, not a big problem more in there. And so in doing this, it allows me to come in and to make sure that there's, in essence, some paint has already snuck under the fence, right? Some paint has already gotten, gotten in here and has already kind of clogged up the holes where our black paint may end up going. So I want to just smooth this out a little bit. There we go. And uh, let's get that. So there we go. So I'm covering the areas I want to paint, but most important, I'm covering up the seams where the masking tape are with my liquid medium. Now, I'm going to give this a few minutes to dry, and then when we come back, I'm going to try to run some black on this side and see if we get different results. Okay, welcome back. Now, this side has had an opportunity for the matte medium to dry sufficiently. I think it's pretty good. And uh, I'm going to try to do what we did before. Let's just grab some, uh, some paint on this side and let's get it into the areas we want. Similar process again, I'm going to try to get in here and be as thorough as I can in getting the black paint into the uh, the white areas here. And I'll do the same, same thing on the edge here. And there we are. Okay, that's looking good now. Now this is the moment of truth. What we're hoping now is when we release the masking tape on this side, we're not going to have any of the same kind of bleed that we have underneath over here. So I'm going to grab and let's rip. 
And I don't know if you can see that, but right away, how clean that line is. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I'm going to come over here to the same thing. Let's get this one out of the way. We're going to pull it up. And again, the difference between the two sides. This side, the black lines, and the white is a crisp, tight line. Over here, not so much. Now, I want to talk about one other thing that we might be able to do. Because there's nothing more heartbreaking than you've been working on a project, and now you have put some paint in a place where you don't want it to be. Or you, you got something that doesn't look as good as you wanted it, and what are you going to do about that? Well, I'm going to show you a little bit of first aid, possible first aid, depending on what you're doing. But let's say this black feathered edge that I'm, it, it's a deal killer. I certainly don't want this in here. So using what we just learned, I'm going to grab a piece of masking tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and do a little triage over here. And I'm going to try to uh, pick up any of the, the bad spill. Now this means I'm going to have to make this line a little bit wider. But, uh, you know, it's either that or we just start from scratch. So I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to get my masking tape down. And again, I'm going to turn to some liquid medium. And I'm going to try to seal that edge this time best I can. So let's come on in here again. A couple drops. We don't need too much. Don't need too much. This stuff spreads out nicely. But let's just make sure that this, this seam between where the paint line is and where the tape is, is covered as sufficiently as we can cover it. And just get in there. We don't want to have any more of those ugly problems. All right. Now again, we have to give this some time to dry. So I'm going to do just that. Give it a few moments to, uh, to get to a drying point. And then we're going to try to lay down a new layer of the black and see if this fixes our sins. All right, welcome back. So again, we are now looking at uh, a line that we've... Uh, invisible line that we have in here, a barrier, if you will, that we're hoping will solve our problem. Let me get a little bit of black on my brush. And I'm just going to go down that line, down that line with this fresh coat of black. Hopefully it will blend in with what we already have there. It should be the same color. And again, I could also mask the other side if I wanted to do that. But this is more, you know, this is a science experiment for as much as it is anything. But now, with that feathered line, let's get our masking tape up. And if all has gone according to plan, you can see we have saved it. All right. So that what was a feathered line before, now this line is actually tight. We could do the same thing with the line over here and the line on this side if we wanted to make sure that we had much more crisp edges. Of course, in the future, we're not going to just lay masking tape down and start slapping a dark color on here. We're going to make sure that we put some liquid medium, seal that in nice and tight, and then our color will stay where we want it to stay and not bleed under our masking tape. That's the objective. Anyway, that's the quick lesson I wanted to share with you today. Such an important thing to understand when we're using masking tape. And we're going to be doing some more things with masking because I think it's such an important thing with for anybody who is layering paints when you have one color on top of another. You want to be able to control where that paint goes. And uh, masking tape turns out to be a really pretty good tool for the job. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed what we did today. And by the way, if you're not part of our growing family, we'd love to invite you in. Please hit on that subscribe button below and we'll let you know when we drop a video every single week. Anyway, this is Spider. Thanks so much for being here. I'll talk to you next time.